Hey, good morning everyone. We're doing a bit of an adventure today. We're gonna be hiking up Mount Yote. Just got our snowshoes. We're gonna go snowshoes instead of split boards this time and ride our solids down. Should be pretty sick. I got the 2020 Spring Break Mini Tree Hunter and I think the snow is gonna be pretty sweet. So uh, we're heading up there right now and we'll see how it is. Just stopping by a convenience store real quick and I got some snacks for the hike today. Chris, what you getting for the hike today? Yeah, I got no clue, man. I can't read any of this stuff. I know. <laughs> I think it's just a case of like, pick something, go with it, and if you get like 75% success rate, you're doing, you're doing good. Alright, next stop, Mount Yote. <laughs> all right, we made it to the start of the hike here up Mount Yote. Just got all geared up, everything's feeling good. This is actually my first time ever using snowshoes. And I'm pretty happy so far, very simple. We got a nice track up already, so should be a fairly mellow hike up, but it is quite the hike. We got a long way to go. Tons of fresh snow on the sides down here at the bottom, probably six or eight inches. I think we might find some knee-deep powder up there, but uh, we'll check back in on the next water break. Just stopped for the first snack break of the hike, had a Snickers, had a couple of gummy candy snacks, and we're making pretty good progress. But I realized I don't think I mentioned where Mount Yote is. Bo, where are we? Where are we headed? Yeah, so we're on Mount Yote. We're headed to the top, or at least as high as we can get. Um, and yeah, we're pretty close to Nseko. We're probably about half an hour's drive away uh, to the east, I believe. Um, this is the huge mountain you can see when you're snowboarding on Nseko and the, the sky is clear and not dumping snow, uh, which we've only seen a couple of times. But uh, yeah, it's a massive volcano and it's about 100,000 year, years old. It's a strato volcano. And the last time it erupted, erupted was about 10 thousand years ago. Dang, did your research. In Japanese, Mount Yote means a goat's foot. We're gonna make our way up to the top of the tree line, kind of assess the situation and see if we can continue to the top. There's a crater you can actually ski down into at the top. Uh, hopefully that'll happen, but I think the ride out through the trees is gonna be amazing either way. Chris, how does this compare? Yo, Kevin. Yo. How would you describe the terrain we've been coming across out here? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, first part was a lot of gullies, like walking up through that tree gully. And then we've kind of made it up onto this ridge where the trees are getting thinner, but everything's getting clearer. The views are opening up. Tons of pillows, tons of drops, lots of uh, big open powder spaces. And yeah, like prime, prime powder riding coming up. Chris, dude, first trip to Japan. We're out on Mount Yote. What do you think of the forest out here? What are the highlights of the of this forest? I think the fact is totally different than what I'm used to seeing up mountains. Definitely has that like alien feel. Like it's very new. It's different, and it, they look like mini bonsai trees everywhere. Kind of. All right, we're doing really well. Stopping for the final snack break. Gonna have the main meal. So I got like a little rice triangle. A little bit more filling. Try to get some energy to make it to the summit here. Sun, I think we still probably have about two and a half hours of sunlight. So I think we'll make it. I'm hoping we'll have enough sun to get down to the trees and still have enough light because honestly that zone looks like the best part of the whole run. I really want to film that, but I'm stoked. We're quite a bit higher than we made it last year already. 
There's the peak right up there. Hoping about 30 minutes out. We split up a little bit. We're in three groups now, but everyone has their own pocket Wi-Fi so we can still communicate. Kevin and Chris up high. I'm out here with Bo. Got the twins down low. Bo, how high are we right now? High as f 4,710 feet. Do you know the elevation of the summit? Higher than that. Fair. So close. All right guys, well, the light once again has dictated the turnaround point here. We're in an insane zone right now with just tons of wind crusted rocks. Really feels like we're on a volcano right now. There's some sketchy holes around. Everything is frozen. It's a golden hour, we're above the clouds. This moment is a great one for sure. It's up there, but that hike was so strenuous. Pretty stoked to take the tree hunter down. I really, really hope we can make it back to the lot before it gets full dark. We only have about 40 minutes of sunlight left. So we got to turn around now. All right. Here goes nothing. Dude, this is gonna be insane. So we should go one at a time though. This is incredible. Here I come. All right, guys, go right, go right. Do you see an entrance? Oh yeah, we can enter right here. Looks like we found a nice powder filled gully right here where the guides have been taking tourists. Snow looks nice and deep. Sun is setting, everything's orange. This is insane. This is about to be insane. Yeah, it is. Yeah, guys. Chris, dude, you know I am so stoked that you made it up this, like all the way up with us. You freaking killed it today, man. Thank you. This is the reward. Yeah, my first reward was like getting my ass filled with snow. <laughs> dude, I would honestly appreciate that right now. I'm so hot. All right, that, that gully was pretty crusty, but the snow coming up looks all super light and super deep. This is gonna be all time. Pick your line.
Hopefully. Yeah, dude. All right, we gotta keep going left. Okay, follow me. Where does this rank on your runs in life? Dude, up there, top three for sure. Same. Oh, that was always the bad. Um. I'll do it next year. Holy crap. Kevin, oh my god, Yo. dude. Did you make the summit? <laughs> I made the summit. It was uh, very cold up top. It probably dropped about 10 degrees. It was incredible up there. You could see down into the crater, there was a bunch of lines, fresh lines down into it. That was pretty tempting to ride into, but didn't have the time. Next time, we're gonna ride in that crater together. Rav Yannick. Sup, dude. How was it for you guys? You guys dropped a little bit lower. Yeah, so I mean, we got about 80% up above the tree line, which was, I think, our main goal yeah. once when we're halfway through the hike and we thought if we get above the tree line i think that's going to be a successful hike it was Dude. so stoked to see you guys almost made it to the top so i think we all can take away something massive from today and i'm so glad we're here to share it with you guys i'm this so is glad just dreams we come true same man i'm so glad we were all up there together yeah you should say something to TJ. This is his camera. You should say something to him so he sees it when he's editing. Is it recording? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>